Hi, welcome to the walkthrough of RPA Genie. In this walkthrough, we will learn about the collection activities under the programming section. A collection is a group where we can store different items together. So in this walkthrough, we will see how to create a collection, how to add items to the collection, how to check whether uh, an item exists in the collection or not, and how to remove items. So I had previously uh, prepared a sequence which we will recreate uh, from beginning. Uh, I'll just uh, show an overview of what I've done and how, it, how we are going to redo this process. So first we will create a collection named var collection and then add some items to this collection. It can hold different data types. So here <coughs> there is a string value, then there is an integer and there is a boolean value. So these items will be added to the collection. Then we'll display these items using the index uh, of each item in the collection. Uh, then we will check whether an item exists uh, in this collection. Here I have given one, so it will check if whether the item one is there in the collection. So if it is there, then it will remove the item. It will remove the item and then loop through the collection and display the remaining items after removing uh, this item it will display the remaining items of the collection then what I'll do is uh, I have dragged and dropped another decision now this is for the next case I will change the item uh, over here uh, to an item which doesn't exist in the collection uh, so then it will go uh, to this decision where the var ex ex item exists is equal to false. So then uh, since it won't be there in the collection, it will display this message saying item does not exist. So now let's see how to create the sequence from the beginning. So first I will drag and drop the create collection activity. The create collection activity creates a new collection of array list type. Uh, so now we need to give a create a variable for this collection. I will give var collection. Uh, now by default uh, the type will be object. I am going to change it to array list. Next I will drag and drop the add items activity. So now the add items activity adds an array of items to the specified look collection. So our collection is var collection and the items I want to add uh, first a string value a then next an integer 1 and next a boolean value 2 ok now I will first then I'll drag and drop the message box ok so I'll quickly explain how to how I'm going to display each item using the index. Now the items that have been stored in this uh, collection will be, uh, if we want to call like the first element, first item, then this is the zeroth index. The next one will be the first and the third one will be the second. So in the message box, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'll first call the list var collection and zero I'll add a hyphen in between and next I'll call the second first I mean the first index that's the second item then I'll add a hyphen in between and I'll call the third item which is the second index Let's just run up to now uh, to have an idea of what's happening. See, as you can see, it called the first item, second item, and the third item. This is zero uh, index, first index, second index, A12. Now, var collection, uh, the collection var collection has these three items. Okay. Now next I'll drag and drop the item exists activity. 
the item exists activity checks if the specified item exists in the collection or not. So here in collection, our collection is bar collection. And let's give a, uh, an item which does exist. Uh, so the we know that the y, uh, integer 1 exists in the collection. So we'll give that uh, item 1. Now the output will be a boolean value. So we need to create a variable for that. Var item exists. Okay. Var item exists. Okay. Now we will drag and drop a decision activity. Now if this var item does exist, that means if this condition is true, true, we will remove that particular item Oops, using remove items. The remove item deletes any array of items from the collection. So our collection is var collection and the item to be deleted is 1 since that's what we are checking if it exists. Then we will loop through the uh, collection and display the remaining items of the collection. So, it will loop through var collection then we will have each each item will be var item so We'll uh, uh, for each run it will display the remaining items in the collection after the, it has removed this item. So here we can give as var item. Now we we'll click on save all. Uh, we'll can display this uh, disable this message box since we don't need it now. Click on save all. We'll run the sequence. A, true. So as you can see, uh, one has been removed since that is a condition we have given. It checked whether uh, one was there in the collection. So it was there. Uh, the condition was true. Then it removed that one. After it removed it, it displayed the remaining items of the coll uh, collection. Now let's just uh, quickly change the word exist uh, item over here. And we will give an item that does not exist like say D. So we know that D is not there in this list of items. So we can drag another decision. And here we can say var item equal equal false. And we we'll drag another message box. Remove this and message message uh, can be item does not exist in the collection. Okay, so now it will check for an item which is not there and uh, if so then the var item exists variable will be false and if it's false it will display this message. So let's quickly see how it works. See, since D was not there in the list of items in that collection, it displayed this message. Item does not exist in the uh, collection. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.